Hello and welcome to the first of the Velo Pedal in Colorado tutorials. This screencast is, will familiarize you with the mapillary interface that we use to document the trail walks that Timlin and I go on as part of the Velo Pedal in Colorado project. You'll likely have gotten uh, to a view like this uh, by either uh, clicking on a link in a YouTube video or if you're at the Medium uh, publication, the uh, velopedlin.org website, uh, you will have come here through a link provided in one of our trip reports. The link will bring you to mapillary.com, which is an open... Uh, street View open source uh, program, much like the Google Street Maps view, uh, to provide uh, geolocation information based on voluntary contributions of people like us and like you and your neighbors. The first uh, trip that we're going to take a look at uh, on this tutorial is one that we made at Metzger Farm Open Space in Broomfield, Colorado. As you first uh, view Mapillary, the green lines that you see uh, out on the straight lines or out on the streets are photos that have been taken by Mapillary uh, contributors as they drive in their cars on the uh, roads around Broomfield. The blue line is the one that we'll be taking a look at. Uh, and in that one, uh, we'll walk up the trail, uh, view it virtually in reverse when we come back. The green loop that you see near the farm pond is a, another of our uh, first two trips uh, out on the Velo Pedlin uh, project. As you may be aware, the setup that we're using is a trionic Velo Ped uh, kind of all-terrain mountain bike for walkers, uh, challenge walkers like, like me uh, due to my spinal cord injury. And we use a GoPro Max 360-degree camera to capture images every five seconds as we walk. In this uh, episode, uh, the tutorial, we're looking at... Uh, a uh, leg that we walked up on uh, straight up along uh, Lowell Boulevard in the open space. The mapillary interface uh, has the map that, that shows where the uh, walk that we're going to take and the picture in picture down in the lower left corner is the uh, images uh, that were taken along that walk. In the picture-in-picture, -in, -picture, in the upper right corner of the picture-in-picture, -picture, you see a little angle bracket, like an arrow, and I'm going to click on that, and it switches place between the map and the image uh, that was taken. Because we're using a GoPro Max uh, for our mapillary images, these are 360-degree images. We've mounted the... GoPro Max on a, one of my old trekking poles before my accident and attach that trekking pole to the trionic velopad. If we want to see uh, uh, what, what that looks like a little bit, because this is a 360 degree image, I can click and drag on the image and here is the camera eye view down onto the velopad with me uh, getting ready to walk and Timlin is uh, locking up the car and we're getting ready to go on our walk. The walk we're going to take um, is through that open space in the, in the fence. And so, although I can look around 360 degrees, we were there early and, and no, hardly anybody was there uh, at the open space this morning. We can look all around just simply by clicking and dragging. Uh, 
looking up and down and all around. But I'm going to point, and if you look at that orangey-yellow cone, that's showing the uh, on the map in the picture-in-picture picture, the direction that the view is that we're looking at. So I'm going to uh, point the, the image towards the direction I know that we're going to walk in. Down in the dirt there, you'll see an arrow that points ahead. If I click on that, it'll take us picture by picture along the route that we walked with the, the map every five seconds, the, the map layer view. See, we're, we're getting away from the car and Tim was getting ready to catch up and, and uh, walk along with me. Uh, map layer, by the way, uh, uh, blurs out faces and license plate numbers and things like that does that automatically when you upload images. So again, I'm going to point back to the hole in the fence that we're going to walk through. And rather than click step by step uh, and, and go through the hundreds of pictures that were taken along the way, you'll notice in the upper center of the mapillary picture view uh, some controls that look a lot like a, a streaming video uh, uh, the arrow to the left and right would be rewind and fast forward. And the triangle pointing to the left in the middle is the uh, play button. Uh, if I hit that, that button, we'll start walking down the trail image by image. And Mapillary does this beautiful uh, view. Uh, I'm gonna, let me hit the pause for a minute. Whoops. I hit pause. Um, Mapillary does this amazing uh, image uh, transition processing, which uh, makes these individual images flow together in a way that it that it literally uh, looks like a, a a streaming video. But these are images taken uh, five seconds apart, and and we'll walk down the the path and see what. Uh, this trail looks like. Uh, of course, this is a this is not a real chat. We for our first walks we picked uh, flat and and open space uh, near our home, um, so that uh, that's about the extent of my walking ability at this point. We hope to get off on the most beautiful uh, foothill and and and. Uh, mountain trails later in, in the Velo Pedaling Project. Uh, but for now, this is uh, the, the open space that we want to document uh, for our walking challenge, uh, comrades. I'll st start this back up and by again clicking on that run button. The cool thing is because these are 360 degree views, um, as we walk along, it can literally look around and here's here's us I'll look down there as we are walking along and there's somebody up ahead coming down the path with the dog and a biker you know, it kind of look like ghost images uh, because that's every five seconds that we're looking at but this is uh, the trail and and if I pinch and zoom down on that picture-in-picture picture view. It's paused while I do that. We can see where we are along the, the trail. And I'll start it back up. And as you see, when we walk along the trail, as I turn and look in different directions, those, the direction that we're looking is shown in the picture-in-picture picture view by that little orange cone. Now this gets to be almost like a, a video game, driving game, as we uh, take uh, uh, corners, uh, turns in the trail. I click and drag to keep uh, the point of view being the trail that we're going down. But Mapillary, using geolocation information, is storing those uh, all based on a 
north, south, east, west uh, direction. And so we literally, as we walk down the path, and we're going to be taking a turn here, I'm going to click and drag from the uh, left to the right and stay on the trail uh, as we go. And, and we're now heading to the end of this leg of the walk that we made. And we took, a, and we took this walk right up to the uh, sidewalk at, at the intersection of Lowell. There's a truck that just went by. Um, interesting how these things fade in and out. Okay, we get to the here, and this is where we stopped on uh, to document this part of the Metzger Farm open space. As you see, we got to the sidewalk edge. We stopped. This is us uh, getting ready to turn off the camera and all. We don't need to uh, to to be able to document this path from the intersection here back to the parking lot. Uh, the beauty of Map Larry is that we don't have to uh, reshoot this whole walk going in reverse. We actually use the interface of Map Larry to virtually walk the walk uh, backwards. And the way we do that is, as you see, the first thing I did was drag and point uh, in, in effect back behind us and and I go up in that uh, center, uh, the, the playback uh, controls in the center top of the image. Uh, to the right, that little uh, straight uh, bar. When I click on that, it brings up a, a secondary menu. And the tortoise and the hare is uh, indicating the speed of playback. As you see, we're right about in the middle. Um, is the default. And over on the left side of that secondary uh, playback control is uh, a double-headed double arrow pointing left and right. The, if you look, at, and as I click on that, you'll notice that the playback triangle in the center just above it has switched from pointing to the right, it's now pointing to the left, meaning that it's playing uh, towards, uh, in, in reverse, as if we were uh, rewinding a, a, a tape to take it back to Blockbuster Video like in the old days. Again, if I click on the, that double-headed arrow, it'll switch, it'll switch, and it's, it's grayed out here because we're at the end of this picture run. It, you can't click on it because we've uh, we're at the end. All we can do is rewind. So I'm going to click on that again. It, it's the the playback uh, icon is is now alive because when I click on it, and let me dismiss the secondary. Well, no, I'm going to keep that up so we can look at the speed control. I'm going to start by pl uh, starting this up, and now we're in effect watching our walk in reverse. In fact, you can see our hats and all down here because we're walking. <laughs> we're not walking backwards. Uh, we're walking. We're walking through the pictures backwards. But the beauty is, is that we can take the the walk on this trail, regardless of whether uh, you start from the beginning or the end of any given trail. And. As I make the turn here, click and drag to stay on the trail with my view. If I want to go faster, I click on the thing more towards the rabbit. And now we're walking down the trail in reverse. We'll come back by those folks that we passed before too long here. But I'm, I'm constantly... Kind of there, well, there are the people we walk past. And now I'm going to pause for a moment. I hope. Well, here we are. Back at the car, boom. 
So that's how you use the Mapillary interface uh, to go on a virtual walk with us on Velo Pedaling, Colorado. Uh, uh, I hope you'll join us for other walks uh, and, uh, and enjoy the uh, information that we can provide to our fellow walking challenged uh, hikers in the, the Colorado area. See you next time.